first thing we're going to do when we go into the app is first to download it. I have an Android Samsung S4, so we're going to go to the Play Store. You might have an, uh, uh, an Apple device where you need to go to the App Store. Either way, go into the App Store, search Recall Check. It is spelled Recall, C-H-E-K, and download the free app. You do not have to pay for it. Once you've downloaded the app, you'll have your icon on your phone, and we're going to launch into it. Uh, the first place that we're going to come into is the config. So this is where you put in your username and password to your account. If you want your inspector name to show up on the recall check report, make sure you put that in here as well. This name also needs to be exactly how it is listed in recallcheck.com. Once we've done that, we're going to set the account. Now there's two ways to add the appointment for your phone. The first way, we're going to go to the computer. We'll come back to the phone second. The first is to create an appointment online. So I'm going to log in to recallcheck.com. And on the default page, we want to cover over add property and go down to create appointment. And this is where we can put in the client's information like the night before or maybe the morning of the inspection. So we can put in the information. I'm just going to make this up. and an email address, uh, n at n.com. You can put in buying and selling agents email address as well. And then also the inspection date uh, we'll pick today, September 5th. And then down at the bottom, once we've done this, we're gonna submit the property. After this has gone through, there was a problem with your submission. Make sure we, we check all of this because I didn't put in the phone number for the alarm leads program. Once we add this in and submit the property again, now we get the confirmation number and that's what we wanna see. As soon as we get the confirmation number, now if we go back to the phone, we refresh it, we can see instantly that Mike Door at 123 Main Street has been added to the device. So that can come over right from the website to your phone. The other way to do this on the phone on the fly is to click the appointments button on the app and you can do the exact same thing by filling out all of this information on the app. And this will create the appointment as well. Once we've done that, we can easily go in and add the recall check. So here's how simple this is gonna be. First, we're gonna select the person that we're at the inspection for. The first page that comes up, the info tab, We'll have all the information here and we can verify that all the information is correct. If we needed to make any changes, we can revise the property. Also, maybe this appointment was on the phone, on the device and the inspection got canceled. We can delete the appointment from the phone right there as well. The next tab we're going to select is the home tab. And this is where you can take a picture of the front of the house or select one from your gallery to be included on the cover of the recall check report. This is optional. This is no, nothing that you have to do that's required. So to add in an appliance, this is very easy too. There's three things that are required, the appliance, the make, and the model. So for the appliance, let's put in a dishwasher. Notice I just typed in dish, but dishwasher populates. I can select it. In fact, let's select automatic dishwashing machine. And for the make, the same thing. If I type in Whirl, up, oh, there's Whirlpool, saving you a little bit of time, makes it a lot faster. And at this point, you can either type in a model and a serial number, or you can just hit the camera icon. This will default to either selecting one from your gallery or taking a picture. And if we take a picture of the data plate for this, let's just use a uh, what's right here on the desk. Let's imagine that that was the picture of the data plate for the dishwasher. We can either discard it and take another picture or we can save it. Make sure that that model and serial number is visible for us. If you can't take one picture with the model and serial number, make sure to capture the model number. Once you save that appliance, you're going to save the appliance down at the bottom. The appliance was added successfully. You can hit the appliance tab and see this as we go and we can add more and more. So this one can be a, um, how about a microwave? The brand can be a Samsung and we'll take another picture. Um, 
All right, that's the picture for the microwave data plate. And we're gonna save it. I can visually see it there. Save the appliance. And just for this video purpose, we can keep adding as many as you want. I think the most we've had submitted was about 187 appliances from an inspector in Ohio. Um, so you can submit as many as you want. Once you're done, you're gonna select the appliance tab and you can see all of your uh, appliances here. Once you're happy with everything and you have all the appliances that you're ready to submit, then you're gonna finalize the appointment. And in fact, I'm gonna actually finalize this. You'll see the little loading icon to know that it's being sent over. This process takes anywhere from 15 seconds all the way up to maybe a couple of minutes depending on the uh, the status that you have for your, your bars. I'm not hooked up on Wi-Fi. I'm on 4G with two out of six bars. So adding two appliances shouldn't take that long. If you had 10 appliances, it might take a little bit longer than adding two in here. But usually about 30 to 60 seconds is going to be average. Once the information has been submitted to the account, then you're going to get a confirmation number that it's been finalized. You don't need to record that, and there it is. You do not need to record that number at all. It's just letting you know that it's successfully finalized. And at that point, you can submit everything on, I'm sorry, you can see everything on your account online. If you needed to make any changes to the appointment after it's been finalized, you cannot do that from the phone. You have to do it from the property search on the website. If you have any questions, please call our office at 800-544-8156. We look forward to helping you out.